ऑनरेबल जस्टिस संजय गंगापुर वाला द चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ द मद्रास हाईकोर्ट माय बिलाउड ब्रदर जस्टिस मगा देवन बिलाउड सिस्टर द पोर्टफोलियो जज डॉक्टर पोटई जस्टिस भवानी सुपरायन माय बिलाउड ब्रदर जस्टिस साधी के सोलू माय बिलाउड ब्रदर another portfolio judge for Thuru Kotei, Justice Vijay Kumar, Honorable Minister of Law, Government of Tamil Nadu, Respected Thiru Rakhubadi, Honorable Minister for Environment, Government of Tamil Nadu, Respected Shiva Vriyanagar, the district collector and district superintendent for the court time. The engineer in chief, public works department, government of Tamil Nadu. The principal district judge, Mr. <coughs> Purna Jayana. The president of the Pudukotai Bar Association, Sinaraj. The Office Barracks President and Secretaries of Pudukotai Bar Association. There are 12 toilets in Pudukotai. By inaugurating the three new courts at Manamay Kuti, Avadayar Koyi, and Brahi Manai by our Honorable Chief Justice, today the Pudukotai district has achieved a uniqueness that in all taluks we have at least one court. That kind of achievement, first time, reach only the Pudukote district, no other district in the state. That apart, yet another important commencement that has been made by our Honorable Chief Justice is the laying the foundation of the renovation, conservation and preservation of this gigantic building that is the combined court building previously called as public office building constructed 140 years ago by the King of Purukota. We must, we must see, realize that this was constructed 140 years ago but it withstood for 140 years None of the part has damaged, that means none of the part has fallen down. But nowadays, if we construct a building within 10 years, within 15 years, 20 years, it will fall. See the sincerity and the workmanship in those days, in every area, including the construction. But we cannot leave this building as it is one of the historic monuments of the Pudukota state, then Pudukota state. There are very few buildings are left now. The present collector of these, that is the work, that is the palace of Pudukota King, the Raja College, that was also built by the king, and the other one or two small buildings. In so far as this building is concerned, this is the second largest functional heritage building next to our Madras High Court Heritage Building, such a privilege we all can proudly share. So, such a building has to be renovated, for which we requested the government to sanction the fund. As for the estimation given by the Public Works Department, now 14.90 crores, that is 15 crores are being sanctioned by the government. They are going to commence the work. The estimation now given by the PWD may increase, may get enhanced. Therefore, an additional fund may be required after some time, even that requirement comes. We all hope that because the Minister of Law also belongs to this place, he is also a son of Sai. Without any hesitation, that fund also would be sanctioned by the government of Tamil Nadu. For this sketch of sanctioning 15 crores, 
for the renovation of this building by the government of Tamil Nadu. I, since I am also being one of the citizen of citizen, belongs to this part of the country and Pudukkota is I, therefore I express my personal gratitude to the government of Tamil Nadu for having this much of amount. The Honorable Chief Justice, with whom I had the opportunity to share the dais twice, this is the second time within a span of 30 days. As I am the portfolio judge for the combined Trinagari districts, the Tenggasi judicial district which was bifurcated and we had a function on 13th January. Even at that time, after the function was over, I requested the Chief Justice, Chief Justice, my next request is that the Chief has to visit to the court. What is the, what is the importance, what is the function for? That these five functions that when I mentioned, he said, okay, we'll try, we, we can consider. After some time, again I requested. Then the Chief Justice said, what is this small, uh, the, what, what is that, that is the inauguration of the Lucy Court and all these things, you people, you and portfolio, you portfolio, you, you can do it. Then I said, Chief, this is my native town, native district. Therefore, the Chief Justice visits to the court time. It is not only me, the hundreds of lawyers, lakhs of Pudukotai people, they will feel honored. Immediately our Chief Justice has agreed. In fact, last week 27th we missed the function, but 27th and 28th, due to some other official function, Chief had to move away from Tamil Nadu, therefore he had been in Delhi. Then when that was, that came in, then when I requested the Chief, said, what is the next date available, next week, that is third, the next Saturday, certainly we can have it and we will make it on third, being a working day. Today being a working day for the subordinate courts, that is the district judiciary and the shadow courts, the Chief Justice decided to have the function in the evening of the, after 4 hours, that is 5.45 pm, that is the reason why the function has been fixed at 5.45 pm. And when we have the function in the night hours, uh, you all know that this much of Requirement, facilities are required, lightings and other things, apart from this uh, function, the Shamiana, etc. We requested the PWD department. PWD department has readily has come forward to lend their helping hands and they met this mammoth, this bundle and all these arrangements beautifully they have made. I must also express my gratitude to the PWD department for which. The president and office bearers of the bar associations of Putukotai, Aranthanuki, and Kiranur, Mr. Satyamurti, the engineer in charge, advocates who are the core of the function, and ladies and gentlemen. Mikai Nandri for welcoming me so wholeheartedly, warmly and graciously. It is with profound joy and immense pleasure that I stand before you today to mark the momentous occasion in the annals of Putukotek's legal landscape. At the outset, I congratulate the citizens the litigants and the advocates of this region for getting the District Municipal Competition Magistrate Court at Manamelpuri, Udair Poil, and Varadi Malai. The establishment of the courts at these three taluks signifies the steps of the court, steps of the High Court and the government to provide access of justice to each and every one. Access to justice 
is a salient feature of the Constitution. The directive principle of state policy states that no person for whatsoever reason of economic, social or political shall be deprived of an access to justice. In fact, justice at the doorsteps is a vision and the establishment of the court at this taluk is a step towards achieving this vision. Today also the foundation stone has been laid for revamping the existing infrastructure at Pudukotai. The foundation stone has been laid for the conservation and renovation of the heritage building. Well, this building has a heritage of 100, has a legacy of 140 years. It is not a short period. The court here at Pudukotai is a witness to the history of, to the legal history of 140 years. The courts are not only of bricks and stones of cement. These buildings of bricks and cement and the mud have witnessed the lucid arguments of the lawyers, their cross-examinations and the fine judgments by the judicial officers. They are testimony, they are the part of the history and the legacy that has been set by the senior lawyers of this region is required to be carried forward and it is the juniors of this region who would carry forward the legacy. I hope, I trust and I am confident that the juniors of this bar would be the torch bearers of the society and they would carry forward the burden. I would request the members of the bar to also do the pro bono work. There are many persons who are not in a position to access justice, who are not in a position to approach the court because of their financial stringencies. It is here that the advocates will have to rise to the occasion to wipe the tears of these persons. I request all the members of the bar to engage in this benevolent act. Mediation is also now one of the important facets. In all the new acts which are been enacted, you will find the provision of mediation. It is said that an ounce of mediation is worth pound of arbitration and tons of litigation. So mediation now would be made mandatory in all facets. In commercial source, the mediation has become mandatory. In the family court, you have to go for conciliation. And it is not that it has come just now. Even over our CPC, in the family matters, the courts have to make NGO to settle the matters. So I would request the members of the bar to concentrate on mediation also. Mediation will not affect your practice, that is what I can guarantee you. The law minister has made a statement that in every taluk of this district there will be a court. And Brother Justice Adi Keshulu desired that that should be in the entire state of Tamil Nadu. I second his thought. In fact, it is my expectation that the state should at least provide 1% of their budget and allocate it to judiciary. Let the Tamil Nadu state be the first state to do that. And I take this opportunity of the presence of the law minister to put forth this point in his cabinet. And I hope if this is done, that will be a golden day 
for the state of Tamil Nadu because it will give impetus to the infrastructure, to the vast infrastructure which it can have. Now, all my sister and brother judges have credited me that I have done this, I have done that. A chief justice alone cannot do anything. It is the cooperation of my sister and brother judges that the things get done. So it is they who have to be credited with all this work. And without their cooperation, a chief justice cannot do anything. And an assurance would be given by the Public Works Department that the building would be constructed in its finest manner. It will have the same structure. The structure will not be changed. And when you are going to renovate the building, see to it that you incorporate the modern technology in it, that is the e-technology also is installed therein because that is the order of the day today. There has to be a blend of modern technology and the maintenance of heritage. It is then only we will be in a position to keep pace with the time. And I hope and I trust that the Public Works Department will rise to the occasion and provide with all the modern technology because Within few years, you will see that the course will be paperless. And so we cannot lag behind. We also will have to upgrade ourselves and we also will have to be proficient with the technology in future because that is the future. Just imagine when our seniors started the practice, there were no computers. The typing instrument type typewriters. Now, because our seniors saw to it that they are comfortable with the computer work also now. So today, the juniors of today will have to now be working on the iPads. And now, just see how the dream of the Chief Justice of India comes true that the course should be paperless. I thank you for giving me this opportunity to be amongst all of you. I wish you all the best. Stay safe, stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you, thank you everyone.